What's up guys? I'm so excited because we just got our Zoom account approved for 1080p video quality. I'm gonna show you how to do this in this next video. All this and more coming up next. All right, guys, welcome back. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. It's totally free and only about 11% of our viewers actually subscribe. So we'd love to have you help us grow this channel and create a lot of great content. Now, I'm super excited because we are getting 1080p video callers into Zoom and we're using them for our live streams and our video productions. It all started by finding out what is this group HD feature that you can turn on in Zoom. So we did that. Uh, we have a video all about it on our YouTube channel. You can check that out. Um, but there's a process. And essentially, Zoom just wants everybody to know during this time, most Zoom meetings are actually standard definition, not HD. You can enable group HD to get 720p quality and in order to get 1080p quality currently. Now, I'm sure this will change as the world gets faster internet access and you know Zoom scales. But currently, to get 1080p access, you do need to have a business or an enterprise plan. I'm going to walk you through all of that. But then you get the group HD feature to enable 1080p. Now, I put together this little side. You guys may have seen it. Essentially, the most common video in Zoom is 320 by 240. Then it's normal to get 640 by 480. You can enable HD video to get 1280 by 720. And then you need to request 1080p access from Zoom support, actually, and they'll enable it for you if you're eligible. So make sure you have a paid business or enterprise plan, submit a support ticket, and just wait two or three days. So let's show off the test footage of 1080p video inside of Zoom. All right, Tess, we've got 1080p video enabled in Zoom. Let's do a test call. All right, I'm very excited to finally have 1080p in Zoom. It's looking really good. I have you in full screen mode. You're coming through here. So let's do a quick little test. Okay, here I am in 1080p, finally in Zoom, doing a little comparison between Zoom and our live to air system. Okay, Tess, now while I have you, I'm just going to show that we definitely have 1080p coming in here. And we're going to go to statistics where we have the video and we can see here you're coming through 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second. There uh, you go. Yeah, it comes from 28 to 30, um, about 69 milliseconds of latency, which is very low. Um, and then this overall uh, bandwidth is something that's important for people to remember because we have, uh, I almost have... 4.6 kilobits per second I'm receiving from you. So that that's pretty darn good. That is almost, you know, that's four more than four megabits per second. So much more than we were getting before all of this. All right. Hey guys, thank you for testing with me today. I'm gonna go into speaker view. So whoever speaks will will come up. Brian, you're up now. Why don't you just go ahead around the room, guys, and speak, and we're going to test. Brian, you're at 1080p, roughly 30 frames a second right now. Yep. Uh, test, one, two, three. Do I sound good? How do I sound? You're good. You're coming in in 1080. How about you, Lindsay? Hello. Please like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, I have Brian on a pin. There you go. You're back. Uh, in speaker view, you're coming in at 1280 by 720 still, Lindsay, because you have Wi-Fi. All right, Tess, how about next? Okay, I am on a wired connection, so let's see if if I make it to that 1080p just like Brian had. You we'll are say. you're coming in at 1080. There you go. Oh, I made the cut. All right super awesome results. Very excited to have 1080p Zoom. This could change the game, but over the course of the past few months, we've been looking for higher quality, more flexibility, and we've started using a system called Live to Air that I want to show you next. All right, so we took a look at Zoom and we did some test recording of the 1080p video quality that we're getting using the public area internet, real-time communications with Zoom. 
Now here is something we've been testing called live to air. And this system allows us to bring in four 1080p video callers at 30 frames a second and output those callers via NDI. So we can have individual 1080p video in our video production system. We're using vMix here. Let me just show you this interface really quickly so you can see the cool controls we have with live to air. Okay, so first of all, we have our guest coming in here. We've got two different guests just for testing, but we've got four channels here. One thing I like is the ability, you actually have the ability to zoom and, and digitally pan a little bit, so you can kind of set your guests up. You've got a little bit of gamma and a little bit of contrast control, so you can, you can touch them up. One of my favorite features actually allows you to uh, bring change their camera or microphone. So through Google Chrome, through WebRTC, you can switch their camera, their microphones, you can switch the resolution they're coming in at, and you've got a lot of great controls. You can actually mix their uh, audio coming in and out, and uh, we're really liking it. So let's take a look at the test footage. Hey Tess, how's it going? Hey, it's going well, thanks Paul. So I'm gonna bring you full screen. You're coming in to us at 1080p at 30 frames a second using the live to air. That's right. Today we're going to be comparing the live to air system with Zoom's video quality. That's right. So this is just a little bit of test footage um, and then we'll compare that against the Zoom footage. Very curious to see how that plays out. Hi, my name is Tess Protesto. I'm on the marketing team with Stream Geeks and I manage our strategic partnerships. Hi, my name is Tess Protesto. I'm on the marketing team at Stream Geeks and I manage strategic partnerships. All right, here at the Stream Geeks, we're always on a quest to increase the quality of our video productions and video communication. So hit that red subscribe button if you wanna learn more. It's totally free, and only about 10% of our viewers are subscribers, so we'd love for you to be part of that. If you wanna learn more about how to optimize Zoom, hit that like button to let us know, and then leave a comment below, because that's where we get our ideas for our next videos. We're gonna be hosting a live stream that you can join. So check, take a look at getting the live show notifications below at the link below, because the next live show, you can join a Zoom meeting in 1080p quality, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Keep producing awesome live streams. We'll talk to you guys soon.